Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are looking at the NBA Prize Picks plays for Friday. Happy Friday to everybody. We have a good slate tonight to get us started for the weekend. Looking to bounce back from yesterday where, you know, just didn't have a good day. Uh, we have five props in this video I want to share with you guys. So let's get back on track, get the weekend started right. As always, if you enjoy the videos, appreciate it. If the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. You can check out other links in the description. You can run these same plays on underdog and if you want to sign up there you can use my code process for a first deposit match up to $100 and with these five picks you can win up to 20x on underdog instead of just 10x on price picks so definitely check it out but the first prop that we are looking at today is I'm going over to Spencer Dinwiddie uh, I think you can definitely look to a few of his numbers I like the over three and a half rebounds it just seems low he's cleared it um, four out of the last five games and a bunch of times this year and since he's been over with Brooklyn. The assist also doesn't look terrible at five and a half. And then the points, he's been playing a lot of minutes for him. A couple poor scoring shooting nights heading into the break, you know, sandwiched in between a nice shooting night. If you look at his games against uh, the Bulls, he's had a good amount of success against them. Most recent game, early February, two weeks ago. 25, 5, and 6, 27, 4, and 8. Uh, he's actually scored at least 20 points in 6 of 7, 7 of his last 9 games. And some of these games he played like just 30 minutes, or now he's playing. He can get up to the mid-30s depending on how the game goes. So I definitely like Dinwiddie's points, plus the assists are typically there. The rebounds can also be there. So I don't think you can go wrong with taking his points, rebounds, and assists at 29 and a half. Uh, personally, I also think you can look to take in his points and rebounds, which is just 23 and a half. That's the one that I'm going with. Uh, but like I said, you can take the assist, points, rebounds, and assists. But I feel like the rebounds is really low. Matchup against Chicago and just with like Simmons playing less minutes and with them going a little smaller, playing like Cam Johnson at the four. There's some of these other guys are going to have to rebound to help uh, with Nick Claxton. Uh, for our second prop, we are looking at Trey Young. And Trey Young, we had him, you know, his assist was at 9 for a large part of the season. He got up to like 10.5, one or a couple days. Uh, now it's right at 10 flat. Matchup against the Cavs, they are on a back-to-back. -back. He also has done a good job scoring against the Cavs, if you look at the game logs. Looking at his most recent games earlier this year, November 25 and 10. And a couple games were just 9 assists. Uh, but the points, he scored at least uh, 25 and 4 straight against Cleveland with throwing, putting up over 30 in 3 out of the 4 games. You know, he's a great assist guy. To, you know, he's averaged in that span double-digit assist or close to it at least. And the scoring is there and he plays a lot of minutes. So, But then if you just look at Trey Young's game log, uh, just been an absolute beast in terms of getting you 10-plus assist. He has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 straight. Five of six, and then he had one, two, three, four, five games straight before that. So he's hit this in 10 of his last 11 games. So you got to like the at least a chance for a push. And a lot of the time, it can be well over uh, 10 assists. So I like to think he can score against Cleveland, like he's shown, but I also think he'll probably get you 10 assists at least. So that is our second prop. For the third prop, uh, we're going over to New York. Taking a look at Julius Randle today, uh, there's a couple props that I think look interesting. The rebounds for sure against a Wizards team that you know, he's had a lot of success rebounding against them this year. Also think you can maybe look to his under free throws made at 4.5. Typically, he's been under this large part of the season. Sometimes he struggles with the free throw line. Against the Wizards this year, he's shooting just 53% from the line, but it's only been two games. I don't know if you can put too much into that. Our... However, I do like the over 10 rebounds for him. It's one that, you know, it doesn't look great if you look at the game logs. If you look at just how he's done in his, like, past five. But they do have the all-star game in there. But he's had two pushes, one hit, and then one push. So it's been close for him. However, against the Wizards, uh, he's done a great job rebounding against Porzingis, who we know he doesn't like to rebound much. So he's going to have some advantages there. He's averaged 11 against them in 19 games. And then in a couple of games this year, back in January, he averaged 15.5 rebounds, 15 and 16. 
He had 17 uh, end of last year against them. Uh, so I definitely think he can get you 10 rebounds against the Wizards if he's on. If he continues to just crush it against them. So looking at young rebound or young assists, Randall over assists, Dinwiddie over points. Our fourth prop going over to Chicago and taking a look at Nikola Vucevic. He's had a good amount of success against uh, the Brooklyn Nets. If you're looking on the other side of this game for, from a Spencer Dinwiddie perspective, uh, the rebounds is at 12 and a half. The points is at 18 and a half. So you think that if you add those two up, if you take the overs on both, then that'll be 19 points, 13 rebounds. That'll be like 32 points and rebounds. However, we're getting it at just 30 and a half. So we're getting a discount taking the points and rebounds instead. And if you look at the games against him, 17 rebounds earlier in February, 13 rebounds, 15 rebounds. He also scored, so he would have hit in two straight games against him uh, in the two games that he played against him. The two most recent games, he missed it back in November, but that game he just scored seven points, so definitely an anomaly. However, just like him against Brooklyn, they're playing Claxton at the five, who definitely can handle it. However, he's you know, Vooch is going to be able to rebound and Claxton is still, I mean, he's a great player, but he's still going to have to work, kind of uh, get more size to compete with some of the bigger centers down there. He's very lanky for a big man. And then for our final prop, going with LaMelo Ball, he's been, he was flirting with a lot of triple doubles heading into the break. He finally got one, and now he's at a pretty good line. This should be one of the best games to target today. Going up against uh, the Timberwolves should be one of the highest scoring games on the slate, so I definitely like it. Uh, I think the points looks good. The rebounds is really low, and since they traded away Plumlee, he's had a lot of success rebounding, so it's not really a coincidence that they they need some help rebounding because Richards and uh, like Washington, those guys are not as good of a rebounder as Plumlee was. He was a guy that could get you 10-plus a night easily. So it's been a falling on the shoulders of LaMelo Ball to help rebound, and I definitely think that he can get it done today against uh, the Timberwolves and what should be a fast-paced game, a lot of possessions. If you look at his games against them, he's, he's only been four games, but he's averaged 8.3. He's had some. He had one really high assist game. Scoring wasn't anything crazy, but if you look at he did play 41 minutes, it might have, I don't know if that went to OT or anything. But he did have nine rebounds, 11 rebounds, and two out of the four games. And just with them struggling a little bit in terms of guys that can actually rebound, I think Ball is going to continue to help. So that is our fifth and final prop of the day, and that is it for the Price Picks video today. Taking Spencer Dinwiddie over 23.5 points and rebounds. We are also looking at Trey Young over 10 assists, Randall over 10 rebounds, and Vooch over 30.5 points, rebounds, and assists, and LaMelo Ball over 7.5 rebounds. Thank you for watching. Best of luck today. Leave any questions or other props in the comments, and I will catch you all next time.